Hello, wonderful people, wonderful guys all around the world. My people in America, UK, Canada, Germany, Jamaica, Italy, Sweden, South Africa, Namibia, Uganda, Tanzania, you know, Nigeria, and any other part of the world, guys. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Thank you, guys. Thank you, wonderful people. Guys, it is another banger, brand new week. Happy new week, guys. Happy new week. Happy new week, guys. This is an evening time right here in Abuja, Nigeria. When I'm recording this video, it's just like I'm um, um, just around... Um, uh, almost six o'clock that's six o'clock p.m. plus one GMT so it calculated to a local time yes guys and straight up after this I will edit and upload on the channel guys we're talking about what has transpired and happened in Nyapo Hanse congratulations boss Marwa respect boss Marwa respect Princeton University guys Princeton University is one of the you know top notch you know Ivy League um, University, Bohemian University all around the world to get admission in that school. That is one of the comments I've dropped on Mins Hawi's channel, guys. To get admission in that school, like school in like Stanford University, Massachusetts Institute of Technology, which is MIT, um, Harvard University, Cambridge, Oxford. Those universities are top-notch university. To get a slot in those university, guys, it's very hard. It's like a camel passing through, you know, the eye of a needle to get university, to get admission in that university. But guys, if I'm to write application, if I'm to apply to any of this school, straight up admission, straight up, straight up admission, guys, straight up admission if I'm to apply. There's no school abroad that have ever applied. They've not given me admission. Serious, guys. That is why on this YouTube channel, our channel talks about studying opportunities abroad also, guys. Very soon, we start uploading content in that regard. Yes, wonderful people. As the title suggests, guys, we are talking about fellow the boy. Guys, thank you, my people. You see, this life, it is not about the, you know, quantity it is about the quality of things in life guys on this youtube channel if you've been following me my first video on this youtube channel was about fellow the boy and we wrote it later to fellow the boy in that letter apart, apart from that video i mean guys we've done some videos like um it was it like two times or once again to inform him on seeing the need why he should realign with boss marwa guys today guys i feel happy i am happy i'm having impact on my youtube channel because we've been calling on them we've been giving them the integrity we've been telling them what it needs to be done and they've been hearkening they've been listening they've been seeing the reason why our advocacy here pays our advocacy here drives our advocacy here matters our advocacy Yes, brings that impact, the needed impact, the impactful drive, the impactful change, the impactful way of reasoning and resonating. They've been resonating with the messages, they've been resonating with everything we've done, guys, and it is based on that. As the title suggests, we are saying thank you for the boy. That is what I've been saying, fellow the boy. Guys, as I've said in my the first video on this YouTube channel, we wrote a letter to fellow the boy. And in that letter, I call on him. I told him, fellow the boy, remember who you were. I remember the very day Marwa brought you on his camera. Marwa told us, he told the world, this is fellow the boy, and he doesn't even have parents. And the worst part is, he doesn't even know his father. But it baffles me, fellow the boy, immediately after Marwa showed you to the world, you know, came out, especially during Mama's aunt, you know, free um, construction um, opportunity. You came out, that was when we started going against Bush Marwa. And if not sure, I shied away from talking. Guys, I've shied away, as I've said, I'm one of those persons that um, they are following Marwa religiously, but. I've never had opportunity. Sometimes I don't even comment because most of the videos are downloads and watch offline. And I know there are people like just like me, many, plenty around the world that they are followers of Marwa religiously and they've never had opportunity to drop even a comment on his YouTube channel. Not to talk of now that I've been, you know, trying to, you know, engage myself sometimes if I'm less busy on the primary, you know, gang. 
on Marwa's YouTube channel. I've come out. I told you fellow the boy. I said, no, 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 no. If that is what you can pay this man, if that is what you can pay boss Marwa, I am going to campaign against you. And I wrote that letter to you. And I told you why you need to change your ways. I told you why you need to see the reason in that letter. Fellow the boy. Guys, I'm going to drop the link to that video. If you don't watch that video, I'm going to drop the link to that first video. It was the first video on my YouTube channel. I wrote a letter to fellow the boy. I, that was when I could start this YouTube channel. Somewhere last year, September. Yes. Fellow the boy, I am happy. Today, guys, wonderful people, I am happy. Fellow the boy has been able to see reason why he should realign with Boss Marwa and he has realigned with Boss Marwa. Today, guys, over the weekend, when those guys came to Nyabuhanze, the people from Princeton University, United States of America, came to Nyabuhanze, Migori County, East Africa, Kenya. Guys, you can see how, first and foremost, the first person that talked after Marwa was Fellow the boy. Guys, if I'm right, because you know I'm using my, I'm forming the basis of my my talk on Minhawi's YouTube. But that was immediately after Boss Marwa. Marwa called him. When Marwa spoke, Marwa and I gave a break for the people to go out and have a feel of the environment and the hearts launch. Then they now reconvened. When they reconvened, that was when Marwa was able to watch. Spoke well, eloquently, articulately, telling the, the people, the students and staff from the Princeton University from the United States of America how YouTube and how he Marwa has single-handedly effected change in Nyapuhanse, in Africa, on the African continent, where for too long, you know, youths are seen as willing to love manipulations by the ruling class. And that is why there is heightened rate of criminality and social vices among the young people. But he, Marwa, has taken it upon himself to ensure that, yes, he gives the youth a voice and a leverage, a leveraging point to stand and kickstart life. By what? Deploying the potent tool of what? Digital economy. There was self sustainability and financial, you know, freedom. That is just what other happened, guys. You see, I called in my, in my first video that we did to follow the boy, letter to follow the boy. I called on him. I said, follow the boy. Remember who you are. Remember where you are coming from. Remember what the sacrifice and the honor Marwa has did to you. So it was part. And in that video, I could remember vividly, I told follow the boy, he should not allow lazy gang member to use him against Marwa. Because some of them guys, those that Marwa has helped and they are kicking against Marwa right now, is because they do listen to Lazy Gang. And I've taught us, if you listen to Lazy Gang, Lazy Gang will be pressing you, you think, oh, they are saying the right thing, but they are saying the bad thing. And that is narcissist for you. They have a way of what? Twisting narratives. They have a way of what? Twisting the truth. And they have a way of what? Trying to bend reality to make it to sound good in their favor because they have a preconceived mind that they are what they want to work against. That's just it. Guys, what the, I am happy in this video today. Why well, I am happy and everybody is happy that fellow the boy has finally gone home. He has finally realigned with Boss Marwa. And we did a second video somewhere and I caught on him and said he has to. I even suggested he should see a way of trying to meet with who? Minhawi? Arrange it. I am perished. Pablo K and the rest. I said, Boss Marwa in his usual element and benevolence, he must take him back. Just tell him, it's, 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 it's human to, 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 to err and it's divine to forgive. And which Marwa that I know, even though I've not had opportunity to interact with him in real life, but Marwa that I know, he's going to forgive you. And he has just done that. You can see, guys, Marwa gave him the platform. When Marwa spoke, Marwa now informed the people how YouTube has changed the photos of the people in the community and the community entirely. Then Marwa now talked about what? He talked about Mayukno, how Mayukno started YouTube and he could not be able to speak English. But people were resonating with him because, as I said, Mayukno, what he does not have, he has grace. Apart from grace, Mayukno is gifted and that is what has been single handedly, you know standing him out of the crowd. I told you, guys, you can see, immediately when Boss Marwa finished with that talk, Marwa now brought on, you know, fellow the boy, and he told the gathering, he said, he told the, the Princeton University, he said, this 
is one of the both mentees that have empowered, that have helped to scale. This is a guy that he was a mason, was it? I think fellow the boy was a mason, or I think he's a handman, I think he's a mason. So Marwana informed them, he said he doesn't have parents, but he's one of the people. Guys, you can see when fellow the boy came out, you can see fellow the boy very pumped up, fresh, good looking. Who tells you guys that Marwana is not working? What is the divination of impact? Guys, what is the divination of impact? I'm highly emotional, honestly. It baffles me, it pains me that my wife. <laughs> Honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm emotional, guys. When I saw Philo the boy, when I saw Philo the boy, my wife, God bless me. Honestly, guys, honestly, honestly, I'm highly emotional. When I saw. God, God bless you, my wife. God bless you. God bless you, Mama. Guys, God bless my Mama. It pains me. The good people, genuine people, the world does not like them. The world doesn't like them. The world does not love good people. The world does not love good people. The world does not love good people. Guys. You can see when the lady boy came out, fellow the boy. <laughs> it pains me, it pains me that people like Mawa, people like Mawa, with their good hearts, with their large hearts, kind heartedness, people take advantage of such kind of people. It pains me when fellow the boy came out, you can see a total change person. Someone that has been transformed, changed entirely. Fellow the boy, check his old videos, guys. Check the old videos of fellow the boy and check the fellow the boy now. That is why I'm crying, guys. That is why I'm emotional. And people are there. The reason why I'm emotional is because of the head and head speech and Saba bullying Marwa is receiving and his family. If someone single handedly like this can transform the life of people, they can fellow the boy. They can fellow the boy. Just look at fellow. Look at fellow the boy is fresh, pumped up, plumped everywhere. Look at that boy. Then go and check his old videos. Yet we have people who targeted head speech, who targeted noses, saying and spin all manners of nonsense, guys. I'm sorry for breaking down. Honestly, I'm sorry for breaking down, guys. I'm sorry. But I could not control myself because I, I knew where fellow the boy started. And I and now where he is. Just look at that boy. Look at that boy. If that is not impact, what is that? But yet, people don't see that. People don't see that with Marwa. People don't see that with Marwa. They are busy saying all manners of things, castigating guys, calling this guy's name and his family. Why? Why? If one person, not a government official, not a government official, private individual, in his magnanimity, using his platform and voice, to change the destinies of people. Guys, if that is not impact, what is that then? What is that? That's the reason I broke down, guys. Because it pains me that this guy is really working for the common good of humanity, for the common good of people in Yapazi, for the common good of people on the African continent, for the common good of humanity all around the world. Yet, some persons have taken it upon themselves that always their content is to castigate and lambast this guy, spin all manners of things. Look at fellow the boy. Anyone that knows fellow the boy, you must testify, you must say the truth. Thank God I've overcome my feelings, guys. Emotions. I mean, honestly, it pains me. Look at the way fellow the boy. Check the shoe, fellow the boy wore. Check the clothes, fellow the boy wore. Look at fellow the boy's, you know, bicep and treasures. Look at him. Look at how plumb he is. Look at how fresh that boy is. I was even. It, it takes me time to understand it was for the boy. I look at him, I say, this is for the boy, but I could not believe my eyes because of the, word, the transformation he has gone through. Because of the transformation for the boy has gone through. All is attributable, attributable to Boss Mawa, and yet people are busy calling this guy name. People are busy calling this family name. People are busy saying all manners of bad things against these guys. That is change. And that is a change agent. Yes, Marwa is a change agent. 
transforming lives, living in his wake, massive transformation, changes. No wonder real recognizes real. And that is the title for our video, tomorrow's content. Real recognizes real and fake recognizes fake. Why Marwa is the most influential African YouTuber, as I've been saying. Guys, if you've been following me, you know I've been drumming this thing. I have been saying this thing, that Marwa is the most influential African YouTuber. We don't talk about numbers. As I've told us, it is not about the quantity. It's about the quality, the content of what you are doing, the content of your work. And it baffles me that people, when Marwa went to America last year, we've written letter to the United States, uh, Voice of America, Broadcast Corporation, for them to air the video of interview they did with Marwa. At least this is a reminder to them that Marwa is not a scammer. They failed to, 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 to air the interview, thinking they were If For how long would they, would, would, they, would they have done their research about Marwa? They, as a media house, will look at Princeton University, a standard of learning with high class epoch research, you know, backish. They are here. And I know they, must, they will do their own private investigation. Yes. Guys, that is just what we want to see. If it is not impact, the world. Some persons are busy running because they have million subscribers, or they are busy snapping with celebrities and people are clapping for them, or they are busy, you know, going to meet presidents of nations and people are clapping for them. I don't even know that there's someone like those presidents you are meeting. I don't even know that there's someone like those celebrities you are meeting. I am a star and I am the president of myself because I lead myself and my loyalty and respect lies with people like Marwa, not even leaders in my own country. That is why today, in Nigeria today, in Nigeria's contemporary context of political power play, the only leader I respect is Peter Obi. Apart from Peter Obi, I don't respect them. I don't only respect Peter Obi, I honor Peter Obi, even it is not now. Peter Obi has been my hero when he was the governor in Anambra State. That guy has been my hero. Peter Obi has been my hero. It is not now. When people, when they, 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 the issue of Peter Obi came up last year, or year before, 2022, those last year, when Nigeria held had nationwide general elections, when people were, you know, doing all manners, I was telling them that Obi had been an admirer of Obi since when he was the governor. Guys, and that is people that I can boldly and proudly snap with today. I can snap with Peter Obi and post it and do content about it. But in Nigeria right now, there's no any leader. Oh, are we talking about a William Roto in Kenya that I've even called upon on this channel for him to recognize Marwa? But yes, he has failed with the, with the financial bills, madness he's trying to give Kenyan people. And I like the boldness in Kenya. Thank you, Kenyan people. Respect for standing up. That is how Nigeria we do. If you want to develop or if you want to be creative like Nigerians, that is what we do. Don't romanticize things. Don't take it easy with your government. That is why Nigerians can boldly carry camera and talk about nonsense happening in Nigeria. They don't care because Nigerians want the best. But you can see the other guy from Ghana, he's busy running after celebrities and leaders around the world. That is how they are. They romanticize. I'm sorry, Ghana. It's not everybody in Ghana, but most of them, we are talking about percentage here and average. Most of them in Ghana, they romanticize this and they believe the, uh, supporting government, even when government are not doing the right thing. As you can see, right currently, they haven't challenged with light, and the light comes from Nigeria. And Nigeria decided in the next three weeks, there won't be light in, 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 in Ghana. They have issues now. All this while they've been calling Nigeria generator republic. We don't have light. They don't know. Nigerians have light. But the reason why Nigeria say we don't have light, we don't like to manage. And we need a constant power supply. That's why Nigeria, even if the government is giving you, is giving us, for instance, eight hours or ten hours light in a day, or fifteen hours light in a day, but Nigeria will still tell you we don't have light. But you wait, you don't know. You think truly there's no light in Nigeria. It is a lie. And even if it is generator, 
Nigerians have money to buy the generator. I'm not bragging. I'm so sorry, guys. Nigeria have the money to buy the generator. You in Ghana buy the generator now. Respect my Ghanaian people. That is just it. And that is why they're a celebrity. The so-called YouTuber, well, the Maya, let me call his name, is busy chasing after leaders. We are the leaders. We lead our damn self. And that is what we want to do. Applause, Marwa. Applause, fellow the boy. Thank God. Thank everybody that fellow the boy has finally aligned with Boss Marwa. And that is what I've been saying. Guys, my wonderful people around the world, people in America, UK, Germany, Jamaica, Italy, Namibia, Uganda, Tanzania, United Arab Emirates, Cameroon, South Africa, and any other part of the world. Please, hey, let this addition to our country, Zambia. Zambian people, welcome, 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 welcome Zambia people in the house, our latest edition country on our analytics. Welcome Zambia. Guys, see us in our next video. Bye-bye.